Let's try drawing a molecule of carbon dioxide. We want to make it as symmetrical as possible, so we have to put the carbon in the middle, oxygen's on either side. Oxygen is in the 6A family, so I'm going to draw six dots around this oxygen. And I'm going to do the same to our right-hand oxygen. Next up, I'm going to look at carbon in the 4A family, so he gets four valence electrons. When you bring nonmetals next to each other, they tend to covalently bond, share electrons. So this carbon and this oxygen are going to share and make a bond, as is this carbon and this oxygen. They're going to share and make a bond. If we count how many electrons are now around the oxygen, he has two here, four, six, seven. Same thing with the right-hand oxygen, two, four, six, seven. Neither oxygen has enough right now because they're all trying to get eight, like the noble gases. The carbon also doesn't have the right number of electrons around it because right now it has two, four, five, six. Another hint that your picture isn't complete yet is that we have some lonely electrons all by themselves. These extra dots are called lone pair electrons. They should always come in twos. So if you have any single dots like that in your picture, that should be a warning sign that you're not quite done. So what ends up happening is the carbon and the oxygen say to each other, well, sharing helped, but I'm, I'm still not where I wanna be. So I wonder if we could maybe share some more. Do you have any other electrons that we might be able to share with one another? So the oxygen says, oh, I've got this electron over here on the left-hand side. What if I bring him into the middle and you could bring maybe this top electron, bring him down a little bit over here and we could make what's called a double bond on the left-hand side. The same thing happens with the carbon and the oxygen on the right-hand side. This lonely electron over here moves into the middle, and this lonely electron on the bottom moves up in between the C and the O, and we get a double bond on the right-hand side. And now, when we count how many electrons are around the O's, we have two, four, six, eight. That oxygen's good. The right-hand oxygen, two, four, six, eight, so he's good. And then the carbon in the center, two, four, six, eight. Everybody has the number that they want, so they're now complete. So you've seen examples with single bonds. You've seen examples with double bonds. The most you can have is a triple bond. Up to three bonds can be in between two atoms. It's impossible to have a quadruple bond. There's just too much electron repulsion going on between the atoms for that to happen.